Okay, this is a WiiWare game called Dive. Well, actually, this is the demo of Dive, because I haven't played... I don't, I don't own the actual game, and I don't really want to. I downloaded and played this demo several years ago. I don't remember anything about it. I just remember not liking it very much. So, if nothing else, it should be good for a laugh. Start demo. Ooh. Let's go normal. Spain, 1412 A.D. Knights Templar built a, built a monastery on the edge of a cliff. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen to it. Is the cliff going to collapse? Because that's a really flippin' stupid place. Inside they build a chapel, they place the tomb of the King Martian I, the human, with him the secret of their order. Earthquake sent the church and all its mysteries tumbling into the sea. CALLED IT! He's naked and covering his penis. Now I am ready to dive into the depths of the sea and bring them once again to light. Medis Islands. Treasures. Probably nothing. Map. Well, I already know I'm in Spain. Shop. Achievements. Wow, even the demo has achievements. Jeez, that's how pervasive frickin' achievements are these days. I have zero dollars, so there's no point in going here. What is it with European people calling a flashlight a torch? It's not a torch. A torch is a stick that's been lit on fire. A flashlight is a machine that uses batteries to produce light. Fins. <coughs> well, I can't buy anything, so I might as well just DIVE! An emerald, is it, the writings speak of an emerald dolphin that decorated the entrance of King Martin Lutton the Human. They couldn't think of a better name for the guy than the human. That is islands, okay. Press and hold the B button to move. Press the B button twice. Okay, so you hold B and use the pointer to move. And you've got oxygen. Fishies! Okay. Wow, this guy moves slowly. Let's swim towards him to get monies. You might upgrade your equipment in the shop, except I can't because this is a demo. It's your compass. The red spots show nearby treasures. So. Okay. Well, I got the gold, but I also cracked my helmet against that rock when I got it. WHY DO I MOVE SO SLOW?! And yes, I know that's authentic to real life, because everyone moves slow in water. In fact, that's how Batman defeats the mutant leader in The Dark Knight Returns, but still. Oh, it's, I don't know. It doesn't. It seems like the O2 meter just is only there to put a limit on your boost. But, OW! God, that anemone fucked me up. Probably don't want to touch that jellyfish. Your oxygen reserve. Avoid sea creatures and enemies. They will affect your reserves. What? Um, how does an enemy touching me affect how much oxygen I have left? What do I lose oxygen because I start yelling? Ah! That uses it up faster. Ooh, more gold. Found a, I'm sorry, I think that ring would probably be worth more than that. Ooh, a jetpack! Oh, that's just oxygen. Fudge! How did the oxygen tank get down there? I don't know. So apparently you have no after-hit invincibility, because touching that anemone, my, my health just started dropping like a rock. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Pressing right on the control pad, I can pull up a giant map. Do I have nothing else? The controls aren't bad. I mean, you use pretty much everything that's located at the front of the Wii Remote. And, and that's all. Which is better than what Tron Evolution tries to have you do with um, when you're not using the nunchuck. I want to save that for later. 
What is that? Shoot this an enemy and pass by safely. Use your darts wisely. They're a very scarce resource. How did the darts get down here in the first place? Tranquilizer. What is... I'm sorry. What is the point of having a tranquilizer spear gun? Like, it's not enough to just impale your face on a spike. I also have to poison the tip with a knockout drug. How? Who swam down here and anchored that buoy to the ground? Fudge. Jellyfish, too hard to hit. Yes. Yes, these spears are an extremely scarce resource. That's why I found ten of them in two seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, but whatever. Tranquilizer, my ass. That jellyfish is dead as shit. Don't fire until you see the whites of whatever mucous membrane or some shit like that. Ooh, tiny baby jellyfish. Let's shoot it! Killed the baby jellyfish because I probably just killed its parents and I don't want a jellyfish Batman coming after my head. Ow. Okay. Don't know why I'm bothering getting the... That's not even gold! That there's, not, there's not even a shimmering thing down there, that's just a stupid light effect of reflections off the rocks. Another baby jellyfish. And I'm... you're dead too. I'm gonna stop asking how all these items got down here because I'm never gonna get a satisfactory answer. <laughs> and I can't go down there. Cause... We'll just say a wizard did it. Put all these items down here. Probably don't want to go through there. Crud. Maybe unless I can kill both these jellyfish with one spear, which probably isn't gonna happen. This dude is extremely lucky that someone just left a whole bunch of air tanks sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Otherwise, he would not have nearly enough oxygen to do this little exploration of his. Stay away. You stay away. Oh, good. I still have a dart left. Pointing up farther away from the guy does not make you swim faster. Hi, fishy. Ow! Why are all aquatic lives such dicks? Well, I know we kind of deserve it because of all the overfishing and water pollution and all that junk, but still! I'm just a guy who wants to excavate some kind of bullshit ruins. Ow! Of course, jellyfish are just kind of the designated assholes of um, underwater because they're the primary enemies. You fight an Echo the Dolphin, too. By the way, I tried playing Echo the Dolphin that game. I, I just could not get into it. Like, the third or so level, you have to push a rock and use it to get down to two, through a jet stream. And, like, the controls require too much precision for my taste. I don't even know what I just picked up. It looked like a clamshell, almost. I picked up a human skull, and that's worth more money than the gold coins I found at the start, because they were only worth 100. Oh, there's a checkpoint. I don't know how I got o I don't know how I got oxygen from touching a buoy, but I don't care. Ah! Fish! If this guy nearly drowns, he's gonna be scared of fish like uh, forever. He's gonna be like 
they'll never be able to eat at Red Lobster again. Ah, crap, I'm stuck. Ah, crud. I might be in some deep guano here. Ah, uh, and now I just killed its mate, so the other one is going to be coming at me with a vengeance. Good news is it looks like I'm almost done. I am done. Move your torch. What on the hell? I don't. Is that supposed to be my heart beating? Because it sounds like someone just tapping against my helmet. Ooh, dolphin. Now how am I? Now I just have to get back up to the surface without drowning with my extremely small air supply left. Would I like to continue exploring this island and drown because I'm low on oxygen? No! There's no trace of the secret treasure. I have, however, found one of the dolphins that adorn the entrance. I do not know what it might represent, but I cannot stop here any longer. Let's go on to Madeira. To continue my search, my team detected a high concentration of marinas to the north shore of the island. I'm the first main treasure of the game. Congratulations! You can, you get an achievement for beating the first level, and it's not like Batman Arkham Origins where it's kind of funny because it's named I'm Batman. Wait, that's Arkham City. Never mind. Found all types of small treasure in the game. Well, these achievements will be much easier to accomplish in a demo since there's only like a few little small handful of treasures. Okay. The dolphin adorned the entry to the tomb of Martin One. Gold ring, piece of jewelry tossed in the sea. Oh, yeah. oh, that was a shell I found. A fossil, and that was only that wasn't a major discovery. Fossils are important shit. A diamond. Rarity would love this. Incalculable value, yeah, right. <laughs> That's why it's only worth, like, a small handful of points. Mother of Pearl. The remains of some poor soul who died at sea, and for some reason it's more valuable than the Mother of Pearl. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Desert Islands, that's not what I wanted to do. So there are ten main treasures, implying that there are ten levels. I know this is a downloadable game and those tend to not last very long, but still, this is a short game, it looks like. Oh, that's all. Never mind. Like, why couldn't the demo just end when I finished the first level? Like, give a little cliffhanger to entice me into playing the rest of the game. Okay. Yeah, we menu, get me out of here. So that was dive. You swim slowly, it's dull, you run out of oxygen by making a simple mistake because there's no after-hit invincibility. I have no desire to purchase this game on the Wii Shop channel, and um, have a nice day.